going on, Brew Crew? What's up, guys? What's Christian going? and Thad are here with the brothers of Plensner Motorsports. We ain't brothers. We ain't related. Don't get any <laughs> false ideas. So, these are two guys running uh, most of the year, at least, at South Bend Motor Speedway this year in right. the street stock. Street stock division for us two. We have Lauren Alines, who's hiding from the camera. She'll be in a Hornet. And my wife's a permanent cheering crew. Nice, nice. Well, they've added their cheering crew because they're going to throw some Michiana Beer Reviewer stickers on their car. Oh, yeah. For sure. We get to be an official sponsor of Plensner Motorsports. That's yep. right. Love it. And there's plenty of room for anybody else who's interested. Just got to put that out there. We're on Facebook. Contact us anytime. There we go. Uh, hoods, fenders, doors, anything you want. Um, tires underneath. Don't matter. Just just not over the top of the Michigan Beer Reviewer sticker. No, no, no. We'll be, nope. we'll be polite. We'll keep it open. Those are number one. <laughs> nice. I like these guys. So, I brought a beer over. Uh, it was a gift beer. And it's from the Devil's Trumpet, which is in right here in Indiana. That's in, great. Oh, great place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get out to Devil's Trumpet. I've had several of their beers. Um, I've liked them all. This is the DT Pilsner. So it's a nice Midwest Pilsner. It says 4.8 ABV, 18 IBUs. Just a nice, easy drinking Pilsner beer. Good race car sounds beer, good. sounds like. A race car beer? Sounds like What makes it a race car beer? Well, I'm a Pilsner guy. Anyway, okay. So. Well, Pilsner's are always good. And, and most of the sponsors on big time race cars are Pilsner beers. Exactly, yes. exactly. Well, you know why? Because race car guys are broke as it is. You need the cheapest beer you can. <laughs> After fuel and tires, there's not much left. You want to crack that doggy open? Let's do it. All right, hold here. that for me. Okay. So it is in a, in a uh, growler uh, bottle because uh, that's that's all they had. They didn't have it in any other kind of Ooh, other bottles. So. That smells good. All right, let's start. I'll so, pass one out and do this. Huh? That'll pour it. He'll even show it to you. Ooh, look at that. Nice light golden color. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that looks nice. It's a light golden color, gleaming white head. I like hanging out with you guys, but I really want the beer. Well, I, I, it's understandable. I right. got this, I'm good. All right, yeah. <laughs> that has got the big left. So we get on the nose. I'm gonna be really just open and honest. I smell Bud Light. Okay. That nice crisp. It smells like a lot, a lot of wheat, a lot of wheat smell to it. Yeah. That's he, he's not wrong. It's I, it's a I, classic. It does smell it's a classic like a Bud Light. Smell. Yep. It's yeah, a yeah. classic beer smell. Yep. Uh, to me, this is kind of you walk into any of your favorite dive bars. You're this gonna, is what you yeah. smell. Right. Exactly. <laughs> So, all right, time to taste it, gentlemen. Right, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Brew Crew. Light. Yeah, real light. Yes. Crisp. Yeah. Summer beer. Hot outside, get done mowing the grass or something. Good cold. Perfect. Driving the race car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After or race wreck. night, this would go great. Right. Yeah. Heartbroken, cars on the trailer broke. Yeah. Might need a little bit more than just that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hanging out in stands, watching you guys. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. This is a great summer beer. You guys got it. You, you're not only race car drivers, you're already beer reviewers, so. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I think I've drank enough of it, so. Yeah. Normally it's the cheaper stuff, because race car. <laughs> <laughs> So it's got a little bit of a malty back to it that yeah. I was getting that's just a yeah. little different than those uh, um, cult, those big beer companies. It's just got a little more malty back to it. It does. But it cleans out quick, just like the right. others. Yes. I like the short little hit of the hop to it. That's perfect to me. Yeah. Not too much, not too little. Right there. I like it. Yeah. yeah. It's got some great flavors. Yeah. Over to the big beers, this has got much better flavors it, it to it. It does beat out the big beers. It really mm -hmm. does. It's got that... If you're not into the dark, true craft beer stuff or the IPA stuff, but you want to try it, this is one to try. Yeah, absolutely. Like Introductory sure. craft beer, if yes. you would. Yeah. 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 Well, and this is where some craft beers go. That's that's the great thing about the Pilsners and what some of these guys are doing, mm -hmm. is they're trying to get, you know, guys, race car drivers. Huh? People that just, the average guy light. that just mm -hmm. wants a beer, right. this, this is a good go-to. Yep, yep. there we go. This is the blue collar beer. I mean, so, you guys know how we do it. We score it from zero to ten. This is on your taste. So, okay. Given that craft beer, I've had some really good ones. 
Yeah. I'm going to have to go with a 7-4. Seven 7-4? Four. Seven four? That's fair. I think I'm going to have to give it one more try and give it a fair score. All right, that's fair, too. I'll go with you. Fair? I'm not going to argue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give it a solid 7-5. Seven 7-5? Five. Seven five? Seven yep. five. Thad, what you got? Uh, with the eight, uh, ABVs, session beer, I'm a 7-6. Yeah? Yep. That's right where I was at. I was at 7-6 yeah. with it as I mean, well. Yeah. I've had better stuff. There's there's definitely better stuff out there than this, but this is something that you could drink all day and not feel bloated, heavy, yep. nasty yep. afterwards. This is I like this one. Yep. It's race car approved. There you go. Race car approved. MBR approved. So, guys, come out this summer. Check yes. these guys out. Saturday nights at the South Bend Motor Speedway. You can see Flint's there, Motorsports. Got a good friend across the street. Derek will be in the yep. same class, yep. probably behind him, but that's because <laughs> he's not putting our sticker on his car. So I mean, we're gaining that's, at least 100 horsepower with the sticker, right? That's, horsepower. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And if you put one on each side, there's two. Yeah. I mean, I don't know Victory what any of that. I don't know what any of that meant, but it sounds good to me. It makes <laughs> the motor bigger. Nice. The bigger the sticker, the bigger the motor. Yeah. There we go. It's mean, perfect logic. Okay. It's and if you want to see these guys ever look scared, maybe come out on a Wednesday night and maybe they'll let me behind the wheel and then you can watch them panic <laughs> at the wall as I'm going around. You'll also see us out Tuesday night putting pillows around the whole track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely anybody that has apprehensions of bringing out their children, bring your kids. It's bring a very family-friendly place. We need kids that want to race. Our sport's dying. We need kids. Bring them. I bring my kids out. It's something I did with my grandparents. My uh, daughter, who's actually over here, uh, won a trophy last year oh, yeah. was with the kids' zone. So got to oh, go into awesome. Victory Lane with Flying Brian Ross yep. after he won uh, in an outlaw lay model. And she got a great, it was like a two-foot tall trophy. Mm -hmm. South Bend Speedway takes care of the crowd and the kids. Yes, they do. Those are sponsored by Left Turn Graphics with Melissa Keys. Anybody who needs some stickers, I know you're a sticker guy already. But I gotta throw her out there because she does awesome work with vinyl. I mean, ever all of our cars are done by her. They're done awesome. Awesome. So well, thank you very much, guys, for yeah, thank you. coming on to NBR here. I hope you enjoyed the beer, and awesome. uh, we can't wait to come out and see you guys run. Oh, sure. we can't wait if the weather ever breaks. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah, as long as it gets warmer. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for us from uh, Plenser Motorsports. Christian and Thad, Matt and Kyle, other way around. We'll see you guys later. Cheers, Cheers. beer crew. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for watching our video. Please remember to hit subscribe and the bell to be notified when we have more videos post. Also, please remember to always drink responsibly. Cheers.